Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Reviews back with another video and today we're talking about the new iOS 18.1 which should be here in a few weeks. Apple is set to actually release this update in October and it will bring some amazing new features to iPhone, especially to the newer iPhones, the iPhone 16 generation and of course the 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max with all the cool new Apple intelligence features. But there will also be some awesome other features coming to, to even older iPhones iPhones that are of course not part of the Apple intelligence features. So in this video we're going to take a look at all the new features that you can expect to get with iOS 18.1 on your iPhone. Now first of all as we said the Apple intelligence features. It's actually quite amazing even though it's still on beta and it will be in beta even after the release of iOS 18.1 to the public. And then we have this new UI for Siri which is actually pretty cool so it's actually really awesome it looks much much better than the old one and what i really like is the new way that you can now type to siri so previously you had to basically choose where you want to type to siri or you want to speak to siri now you can do both you want to speak to siri you hold here the button or you say the phrases or if you just want to type you simply double tap right here where the home bar is and there you get the opportunity to actually talk to Siri. Now right here we'll also find another pretty cool feature which is the Siri suggestions. So if I just go ahead and type something here it will show me the suggestions as easy as that. So I can go ahead and pick any one of these and we can go ahead and of course in this case switch the appearance of the device. How cool is that? Next up are the new writing tools. Now these are amazing. So whenever you have selected a text, you will get the writing tools right there or right here. You can rewrite quickly or you will have other features as well. So let's just go to original right here. So if we have selected here, we have proofread and we have rewrite, but also tapping that little button, it will show us the writing tools that now we can use for this text. Now we can basically change this text to friendly, professional, and also we can go ahead and have a summary of this, the key points or create a list out of these things. So if I wanted to do that, I can just tap right there and with the selected text, it should now create me a list. And as you can see, it did that pretty quickly. And then you will see this pop up right here from where we can revert or see the original. This is actually really cool. And in this case, we can even create a table out of that content. So as you can see right here, it's actually pretty awesome. So the writing tools are amazing and you will have access to these tools pretty much everywhere that you can use your keyboard. Now another really awesome feature that Apple has added to iOS 18.1 via the Apple intelligence features is of course the smart replies for messages even though I didn't get this to work on my iPhone sometimes it does work sometimes it doesn't you can see right here so basically whenever you receive a message you can see this right here so it will give you a couple of smart replies based on the text that you have gotten and you can just tap on one of them to quickly reply to anyone. And call recording is here with iOS 18.1. You can now record phone calls and this will also work on all the devices that don't support Apple intelligence. So whenever you're on a phone call, you will be able to tap that button right there. And from here, of course, go ahead and just record the phone call. There is the button. Once the phone call starts, you will be able to do the recording and it will be saved on the notes app. So whenever you go to the notes app right there, you will have a dedicated folder for your call recordings. So here we are on the notes app and you can see we have now here call recordings. Now what's really cool is also the transcriptions. So basically you record a phone call, you will also get the transcription of that phone call, which is pretty awesome. Then we have the phone call and you can see the transcription is right here. You can go ahead and play the recording or even copy the transcription of that phone call. And we also have a new feature for the notifications. You can now summarize notifications. You enable it right here. And whenever you get emails or messages, the notifications, of course, other notifications as well, they will be summarized. So you will get a summary of all the notifications on your lock screen, which is pretty cool. We also have a new focus mode. So when you go to focus, you will see this one right here that has that Apple intelligence logo. You go right here, it's called redu reduce interruptions. So when you have this on, it will intelligently allow important notifications 
and of course will hide or will silence other notifications so you don't get interrupted during the day. And we also have summaries on Safari websites as well. So whenever you go to Safari, when you go to a website and you go to the reader mode, so on any websites that do offer reader mode, then you will be able to summarize that website. So here we are on the reader mode and you will get this button right here. Tap on summarize and you can see it does that little effect right there and it gives you a summary of that article or whatever you're reading on Safari. Now with iOS 18.1 and Apple intelligence, you also get summaries for your emails. So right there, as you can see, we have these emails, but they have been here summarized. So we have that like a little icon right there that basically shows you a preview, a summary of that, what that email contains. So it's actually a pretty awesome and much, much easier for you to go through your emails as you will know what that email has within without actually having to open the email at all. And photo cleanup is also here. One of the cool new features that Apple has talked about at WWDC 2024. It allows to move objects from your photos and it actually works quite well. So all you have to do here is go to the edit mode and you will get this button right here to clean up and it will automatically detect things that you can clean on a photo or you can select them, of course, manually. So all you have to do is just select right here the things, the objects, whatever they are on a photo that you want to remove and it does the job for you and it actually works pretty cool. It has that little animation right there and you can see how effective that is. It's actually pretty awesome. You can get rid of different things and if you have maybe like people you want to hide on a picture, you can just double tap on their face and it will blur out the face automatically. It's actually quite effective. And now you can also edit the playback speed of a video. So when you have a video like this, whether it's a six, six frames per second video or you have a slow motion video, you can just go ahead and tap that little button right there and it gives you a ton of options. Like you can go ahead and choose the playback speed for that video from 100% to 10% in this case and it will show you for each, each percentage how basically how many frames per second you will have on that video so that's pretty easy to do you go there tap the dumb button and just like that you have now changed the playback speed of your videos another cool thing that you can do now with ios 18 and 18.1 actually and apple intelligence is that you can create memory so it will give you these suggestions on your photos app and you can just write things like this so i can just write something like summer 2024 tap right there on the button and it will create a movie out of the memories of the photos and videos that I have of this summer. On the camera app of your iOS 18.1 device, you will be able to now also shoot spatial photos. So previously we had only the camera option right here to shoot spatial videos and now with iOS 18.1 you will have a switch there from where it can switch to spatial photos. And while recording a normal video on your iPhone, now you will get this pause button. It allows to pause the video recording and you can just then continue at any time you want. And you can do that as many times as you want. And whenever you want to finish the video, all you have to do is just tap there. We also have some changes here on the control center. As you can see, the connectivity page has been changed. So whenever you add these widgets, basically the connectivity one, which is the small one right here, if you add it to a page, you can make it as big as the page. And now it doesn't have just a list of things, but it has a few things like a list here. And then we have these bigger widgets for Wi-Fi, seller, Bluetooth, and AirDrop. And the bigger emojis are back here on the keyboard with iOS 18.1. So now they show much bigger on the keyboard right here. And in my opinion, Apple should keep it this way. They have changed this a few times during the beta stages of iOS 18. And I really think this one is much better. It's more spacious and it's actually very, very easy to you to detect the emoji that you want to actually use. And we have a smaller change here on the calculator app. Whenever you tap on the history button, this is what you will see. So it will come up from the bottom here, not like it used to be on iOS 18 on the left side. So these are the new features that are coming to your iPhone with iOS 18.1. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. Of course, subscribe for more and I will see you on the next one.